We're taking now an imaginary journey, jumping off into the sky from Cape Town, South Africa, on a summer's evening. We fly first to the coal sack, a dark cloud of interstellar dust. Correcting our course, we aim for the multiple star system of Alpha Centauri. Back on Earth, sky watchers see this system with naked eyes as a single bright star. But out here, we can easily tell that it's actually three stars, and they're different colors. The largest is Alpha Centauri itself, a bit larger and brighter than our Sun. That red dwarf off to the side is Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our Sun. It lies less than four and a quarter light years from our solar system, about 40 trillion kilometers or 25 trillion miles away. If there are any inhabited planets orbiting Alpha, Beta, or Proxima Centauri, their residents would see the constellations in the sky almost exactly as observers on Earth do. These nearest stars to our Sun can't be seen directly by most people on Earth because they lie in the skies of the southern hemisphere. They can't be seen at all very far north of the equator. So, on your next trip way down south, be sure and wave hello to our nearest interstellar neighbors. If they have super powerful telescopes, they would see your wave in about four and a half years. For Starry Night Software and Space.com, I'm Dave Brody.